Good morning everyone and welcome to this new video on Lux Academy's YouTube channel. Today I am present with the colleagues and our student clients in the classroom alongside Andrea Testa. Hey Andrea. Good morning everyone. Thank you for being present here with us today. Well, we are currently at the third meeting, which is part of the third course in a four out of eight day training program known as the 360 degree program. Over the course of these two days with Andrea, we will be diving deep into the world of digital marketing with a specific emphasis on the Google platform and, naturally, YouTube. Ander, given that you are arguably the foremost expert in Italy, let's assume that you have authored the 5-6% to 6 university. Additionally, as an entrepreneur with multiple companies in the field of digital architecture, you undoubtedly have direct collaborations with Google. In fact, you even mentioned today that you are somewhat of a pioneer and play a significant role in the industry. Regarding the current platform, concerning the graphics of the current Google Ads platform, well, the subject matter is complex and our target audience is the small to medium-sized Italian entrepreneur. What guidance can you provide regarding maximizing the benefits of digital marketing, beginning with Google? It is an especially complex period in the field of digital marketing because platforms are currently implementing a highly intrusive artificial intelligence system within their campaigns, which is causing significant challenges and raising concerns among marketers and users alike. What does this mean? Similar to all AI systems, there is a requirement for a learning phase, listening and data analysis that in numerous instances is not bearable in a predatory manner. Particularly for small and medium-sized business owners, it is a challenging period because the majority of the investments made on digital platforms are investments that will yield returns over a medium to long-term period. So the initial piece of advice I would give is to have patience and trust the platform. The second one is to try using alternative channels on the same platform and what I would work on today. Definitely, if you're aiming high, but if you want to stick with Google, clearly Google and its partners are the two tools that I feel like suggesting. Definitely YouTube, because it's an extremely important channel with very low cost that guarantees conversions and visibility. And the second one is a relatively new type of campaign on Google, the newest of all campaigns called Demand Gel. It's a campaign that basically works in the middle phase of the funnel, what Google now calls the messy middle. It is a campaign that has a negligible cost and is very useful synergistically as it works together with the campaigns that have suffered. I would ditch the search part for now because it is extremely expensive. Thank you. These are vital pieces of information and they also align perfectly with what the teacher stated at school. We did, as you say, the course dedicated to Meta and dedicated to the entire world of Facebook and Instagram. And there is a specific tip for individuals who are currently approaching the Meta world today. As an example, we have witnessed the videos, which serve as data indicating that videos are considered ideal on the platform. This encompasses various types of special advertisements or content that we recommend, not just on Google, but also on Meta even at the more comprehensive level. Currently, Meta possesses one of the most sophisticated artificial intelligence systems with its autopilot campaigns, which are campaigns that exhibit an explosive impact on conversion rates. So, conversion campaigns on Meta are extremely crucial. The video content is even more important, especially because there's a Meta competitor that will be particularly aggressive strategically right now, and that competitor is TikTok which clearly necessitates the registration of those that are the entertainment channels of which Meta, primarily with Instagram and Facebook, faces the risk of losing audience. Today, TikTok is a platform with 26 million users in Italy, half of whom are over 35 years old, so it's no longer just for young people. The reason why working on Meta with videos and content is of the utmost importance for us cannot be overstated or emphasized enough. And let's take a step back. Even in the day before yesterday, we then recommended that they were the first meetings of our journey, emphasizing the fundamental importance of creating content that is in written form, copy, audio, video, 
and podcasting before approaching the world of art. This is fundamental and, in my opinion, not taken into account in the thoughts that the entrepreneur organizes himself to create content. It is crucial to take into consideration and then also make use of the staff members who can contribute to the content creation process. Absolutely, yes. I believe anyone who has known me for a while will back me up on this statement we were talking about yesterday. The content today becomes fundamental once again. The quality of the content becomes fundamental once again. The organic distribution of the content becomes fundamental once again. I don't exclusively talk about SEO. I probably don't talk about SEO. I talk about content. Because in a world where the countryside necessarily works in an extremely low phase, which is that of the purchase, the company must necessarily ensure that solidity in terms of trust that only content can provide. Have trust in the user. The user needs to develop a sense of trust towards the company through the content shared 100%. Final question, then I'll let you go. Privacy speech, where are we headed? I mean, will we end up in, will retargeting still exist? We'll end up with extremely simple campaigns so that retargeting no longer exists? Or do we have hope that, for example, in Meta, we'll continue to work with retargeting by only using Meta ads, or rather with Google, as you see, also talking about Google, in short, a reflection on a way of retargeting and then we let them go. The question is challenging today. The new consent mod has certain specificities that are particularly restrictive and server-side conversions may not always be the ultimate solution. Retargeting and remarketing are activities that on one hand rely on scientific principles and on the other hand operate in a predictive manner to achieve desired outcomes. In my opinion, it is likely that artificial intelligence systems will be granted a certain level of autonomy if the ethical concerns surrounding their use are disregarded. To put it simply, users will place such a high degree of trust in the AI system that retargeting and remarketing will most likely be carried out on the device itself rather than on the platform. This implies that the AI system will have the capability to make decisions and take actions independently, bypassing the need for constant human intervention and oversight. Essentially, it'll likely be the device that handles marketing, targeting, and content suggestions, not the platform. No idea, don't think it's given to know at this moment what the timing of these will be. Let's say, from my view, the next few years will bring surprises. From this point of view. So it's crucial to stay updated with training, with experts in the field who will give you the inside scoop. Thanks for your time in the interview and let's proceed with the course. Thank you.